आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ everyone so the question is if alpha and beta are the two different roots of the equation a cos theta plus b sin theta is equals to c we need to prove this alpha plus beta is equals to 2ab upon a square minus b square and the second part is cos of alpha plus beta is equals to a square minus b square upon a square plus b square now i'm considering the given uh, equation that is a b sin of theta is equals to c now what i'm going to do here is that a b sin theta now i am squaring both sides so if i am squaring both sides this becomes a theta and this is c square plus b square sin square theta minus 2 b c sin of theta i am writing cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta and it is derived from the basic identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so i am writing cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta right side will remain as it is that is c square plus b square sin square c of sin of theta now what i am doing here is that i am simplifying it a square minus a square sin square theta is equals to c square plus b square sin square theta minus 2 bc sin theta now what i'm doing here is that i'm going to the right side i'm taking sin common so it is if i'm taking sin square theta common so it is a square plus b square and the remaining terms are this minus 2 bc plus the c square this will be minus a square and this is equals to zero so this is basically our quadratic equation which this is the uh, this is of the form ax plus b plus c so basically our variable is sin square theta so the roots of the above equations are given as alpha and beta so since it is a quadratic equation and sin so therefore what will be the roots so the roots will be in place of alpha and beta it would be sin alpha and sin of beta so we know that what are the product of roots here the product of roots will be sin alpha into sin of beta that would be this term that is c square minus a square upon this term that is a square plus b square let it be equation number 1 now i'm writing the given equation once again so the given equation was a cos theta plus b sin theta is equals to c so a cos theta plus b sin theta is equals to c now i am writing it this way b sin theta is equals to c minus of a cos of theta i am squaring both sides again so what i am left with i am left with b square sin square theta is equals to c square plus a square cos square theta minus 2 ac cos of theta proceeding forward i'm writing this as 1 minus cos square theta so b square is 1 minus cos square theta is equals to c square plus a square cos square theta minus 2 ac cos of theta multiplying inside it is b square minus b square cos square theta is equals to c square plus a square cos square theta minus 2 ac cos theta now i am taking all the terms to the right hand side and the one of the uh, side will be zero so i am uh, taking all the terms to the one side so i am taking cos square theta common also here so cos square theta i am taking common so it is left with a square b square minus 2 ac cos theta 2 ac cos of theta plus c square minus b square is equals to 0 now again this is a quadratic equation in cos theta so here what would be the roots roots will be cos alpha and cos beta cos alpha 
cos of beta and here what would be the product of the roots so it is cos alpha into cos of beta that is c square minus b square upon a square plus b square now okay now let it be equation number 2 now we know this identity that cos of alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta so we have cos alpha cos beta product here sin alpha sin beta product in equation number 1 so i'll be substituting the values so what is cos alpha cos beta this is c square minus b square upon a square plus b square similarly what is sin alpha sin beta this is c square minus a square upon a square plus b square now combining it i get okay this is minus here so if this is minus here so it becomes c square minus b square minus c square plus a square. in the numerator and in the denominator it is same thing that is a square plus b square now the c square and c square cancel so what i'm left with a square minus b square upon a square plus b square this is cos of alpha plus beta so if we'll clear if we we'll look at the part b of the question this is what we were asked to prove that cos of alpha plus beta upon is equal to a square minus b square upon a square plus b square so therefore but part b is proved now we are left with part a now it will be uh, proved by following these steps after this so now if i am considering a, a triangle so okay I'm drawing a triangle here. Okay. This is the triangle. This is 90 degree. So if this is 90 degree, we know that cos is equals to base upon hypotenuse. So it means this is base. So considering this angle, this would be the base. Let it be in uh, ABC. So this is the base. So base is a square minus b square and this is the hypotenuse so what is the hypotenuse it is a square plus b square so i can find this ac that is a perpendicular so the perpendicular would be equal to uh, hypotenuse square minus base square this is perpendicular square so what is hypotenuse square this is a square plus b square whole square minus what is base square a square minus b square whole square now we can use this identity a square minus b square that is a plus b a minus b so it is a square plus b square plus a square minus b square into a square plus b square minus a square so this would be minus minus plus b square now here a square and a square cancels here b square and b square cancel so what i'm left with 2 a square into 2 b square so this is nothing but 4 a square b square this is perpendicular square so what would be the value of perpendicular this is 2 a b so this is 2 a b so hence what is tangent of alpha plus beta so that is perpendicular upon base that is 2ab upon this is perpendicular and what is base a square minus b square so clearly looking at the first part this is the only thing which is we were asked to prove so we have successfully proven it also so we have made certain modifications and we have proved what we were asked in the question i hope it is clear thank you class 6 to 12 se leke need iit je mains or advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 par